welcome back to my channel welcome back this is your girl mrs jbj what is happening what is going on we are talking about basketball wives how do y'all feel about dr cheyenne on basketball wives fighting with brooke because her professional business is blowing up y'all know she had like this viral moment with cam newton and nick cannon just talking about relationships are people gonna be looking at her different because she's on basketball wise fighting and then she have this moment where she's giving us great relationship advice y'all let's talk about it so we pick up from last week's episode when the ladies was having dinner and Jennifer brought Laura in and all the ladies are happy to see Laura. Laura has a good relationship with all the ladies, I think except Jackie. Um, but you know, they're talking, enjoying her company. She's telling everybody what's been going on with her and she's basically been a basketball mom. If y'all don't know anything about Laura, because Laura and Gilbert's son is doing amazing in basketball. I'm pretty sure he's going to be like one of the top picks for the NBA. So yeah, so she's talking about just being a basketball mom, being happy. Everyone is excited to see her. So Laura was like, Jackie, I need to apologize to you right now. I don't want to wait. The last time we was filming, I know that was years ago. I was absolutely wrong for speaking to your daughter without your permission and just stirring the pot between your family. I didn't have any business doing that. I don't want anyone to do that to me. And Jackie was like, girl, don't worry about it. It been many years ago. But no, Jackie was going to go ahead and drag that. She had already mentioned like, Laura, oh, we got a lot of unfinished business. So she was going to bring that back up. So I'm, so I'm glad that Laura was able to address it immediately. That way, Jackie don't have nothing holding over her head. And then they don't have to get in this crazy fight over old mess so I'm hoping that Jackie and Laura is cool because I hate when they be beefing over old stuff now if it's something that just recently happened hey I'm with it but you know these ladies love talking about things in the past so I was glad that Laura was able to address it with Jackie and just get it over with so everybody is in the mood to apologize, be in a better place because they on vacation together. So they was like, we need to put everything out. That way we can have a good time. So Brandy, of course, confront Evelyn about coming after her relationship. And Evelyn didn't want to take ownership for it. And, you know, she just didn't want to give it to Brandy. And Brandy was like, we so hot and cold when it comes to our relationship. But I did feel some type of way because I actually had private time with you and told you about me and Jason and how the ladies always use Jason to come after me. And I thought that, you know, me and you was in a better place. But no, that's the first thing you did. And Evelyn was like, no, I didn't do that. So Evelyn didn't want to take accountability. Brandy said something slick. And what's the first thing that came out of Evelyn's mouth? You need to get control of your husband. You need to figure she's not feeling brandy i just hate that they are fake about their relationship because when they like arguing and acting the fool then five minutes later they'll be cool again so their relationship is definitely surface um but brandy is looking at evelyn differently because she is coming after her marriage and keeps saying slick stuff so we just got to see how they gonna work this thing out so Jashelle decided to talk to Cheyenne and she was like, Cheyenne, I really don't know you like that. But the last time we did see each other was at your women empowerment brunch. And you just flipped out and spazzed out on us and was trying to fight Brooke. Like, what was that about? And Cheyenne was like, nah, it, I just didn't like the gay bashing. Then Brooke stepped in and was just like, I wasn't gay bashing. Jashelle gonna always have Brooke back. And, you know, Cheyenne always stay in her own. I have to give that to her. She don't back down for anything. So she is coming back at Brooke and was like, girl, you was gay bashing. You was doing a lot at my brunch. And then, of course, Brooke gets up. They go back and forth like they want to fight. Um, That Dr. Cheyenne, I don't know what to say about Dr. Cheyenne. 
Because the thing is, 100% at her women empowerment brunch, she came for Brooke for no reason. You know, guys, I review these episodes, but I end up watching them twice, right? I watch them first time just for enjoyment, and then I go back because I want to make sure I get my notes together when I'm about to create my recap for it. So I kind of watch things over again, and I kept looking at that like, Cheyenne, like what's underneath that you and Brooke don't like each other. And it's been like that since Cheyenne stepped foot on basketball wise regarding her and Brooke. But Brooke don't say anything. Cheyenne don't say anything. But it seemed like something with them. Maybe they got in. They did hang out before. They do girl trips before. Brooke let us know that. But something in their relationship. Like they just don't care for each other. Who knows if we'll ever figure out why Cheyenne and Brooke don't like each other. But something is going on. But when I watched that episode, I didn't see anything that Brooke did to warn Cheyenne just picking on her that day. I just didn't understand why she was coming at Brooke. Um, so, and it's so crazy that she's on here really fighting and cutting up on basketball wise but then she has these amazing moments because I have seen Dr. Cheyenne before. Dr. Cheyenne has been on Teen Moms. She done been on a couple reality shows but not fighting with people, not being part of the cast. Usually she's come in there, talk about relationships. She um do life coaching. So that's what I have seen Cheyenne in the past do. So to see her on basketball wise is it just something about that just don't feel authentic to me. Um, because she's doing her thing. When it comes down to these podcasts, like I said, she was on with Nick Cannon. She's been on there with Cam giving great advice about relationships. But I'm like, Dr. Cheyenne, I'm not sure if people are going to look at you the same. You know, being on basketball wise fighting and talking about relationships. So, of course, her and Brooke go at each other and Brooke throw jabs at Dr. Cheyenne. She was like, how can you tell anybody about relationships? Like you 40, you ain't never been married. You ain't never had no kids. Like really taking jabs at her. And I felt bad for her in that moment. Um, But also it could have been because like I said, they did film basketball wives probably before Dr. Shot. It's almost like, you know how you've been working on something, you want something to manifest. So I think Dr. Cheyenne, you was going to do what you was going to do when it comes down to being a relationship coach, because that seemed like something you're passionate about. You're damn good at it. But sometimes when we get opportunities may not be the great look for us, but it involves money. It involves exposure. So I probably say, yeah, I'll just go on basketball wise, make this quick money. Yeah, I can just um, fuss with these helpers. But I think that she had no idea that her relationship coach and everything that happened with Cam Newton, everything that happened with Nick Cannon will just, you know, take her to another level when it comes down to relationships. Sometimes we just take opportunity to get to the money and it's just not a great look. So I doubt if Dr. Cheyenne is going to come back on basketball wise only because She's a relationship coach and she's really good at that and people respect her. We're not going to respect you on here fighting with Brooke or fighting on basketball. Like she's been turning up on basketball wives. So so we're going to have to see if Dr. Cheyenne is going to continue her journey on basketball wives. So Brandy, Brooke, and Jashelle meets up. They doing yoga, you know, having some relaxed time in between their trip. And of course, Brooke wants to talk to Brandy about their relationship. They got a lot of tension. Brooke is not feeling Brandy because Brandy been talking about her relationship with Kevin. And then she told Jennifer and, you know, Brooke just felt like she was doing it behind her back. So they discussed that. And at the end of the day, Brandy was like, girl, I was not just talking about you, trying to make you look bad. Like, I was really concerned about 
how this would affect you. You move in too quick. So I was really coming from a place that I had your back, but you just kept listening to Evelyn. Let Evelyn stir the pot till you just automatically start hating on me and just thought that I was coming from a negative place and we always had a great relationship and Brooke was like you know what we have Brandy we always been cool I love you and Jason I love y'all relationship and I don't like when Evelyn talks shit about y'all um so you know they're just trying to mend their relationship and then at the end of the day Brandy was like girl I was just coming from a place that I got your back and it may not be what you want to hear. Um, but I felt like that's the type of relationship we had because you give advice about me and Jason. So I didn't think that you would take it personal. I, and then Brooke like, girl, you know what? You right. So they made up. Jackie and Jennifer meets up because Jackie want to talk to Jennifer. You know, everybody mad with Jackie. Like I said, this episode is all about conversations. The ladies getting at a better place so they can film together. So Jackie apologized to Jennifer for again I think this like the hundredth time that she done apologize and it really was about Jackie showing Sunday um Jennifer new pics I don't know why we still talking about this so Jennifer ain't really have nothing to say but like I said they made up so they're cool again so all the ladies are at the beach and they're hanging out and so Brooke get this opportunity that she wants to talk to Laura and she was like Laura I really don't understand why the hell you apologize to Jackie um because she didn't deserve that if you don't know you know what I'm saying she talked about my child and have it like apologize and then do it again so I just don't understand or didn't think that it was necessary for you to apologize. And Laura's like, you know what? I get it. I can understand how that can make you feel. But I just don't think it's the same. I think it's two different things. Like, I can't imagine someone talking about my child that passed away. No matter what the circumstances are. Like, I just think it's two different situations. I agree with Laura. Um... When it comes down to Brooke and Jackie, I think Jackie should not speak that girl daughter's name ever in life. Like, ever. She shouldn't say Kayla. She shouldn't say nothing. I think it's disgusting. I don't like it. Never have liked it. I do think it's two different things. I, but we know that Brooke is in her feelings about Jackie. Um, And she should be. Like, Jackie talk reckless about her daughter and her trying to make money off of her daughter passing on basketball wife it's just like I don't even understand why it's the storyline I re and Brooke should just reevaluate her storyline and and just tell the producers like we can't ever talk about Kayla again and let it be done that's what I personally think so everybody is excited because Jennifer is having her bachelorette party. All the ladies are dressed in black lace and leather. They look amazing. Everybody look amazing. They just excited to have drinks and just celebrate Jennifer and Jashelle, um, because she didn't have a honeymoon. So they decide to include her in the celebration. So Jennifer looked it really cute and very bridal, I must say myself. So they drinking, they having fun. Um, even Brooke and Cheyenne is just playing cool because, you know, like I said, everyone wants to get along so they can have fun. So they are on their best behavior. And then the ladies start getting lit, drinking shots, and then they start playing Carisha Please which is her card game. Um, and if y'all watch Carisha, please, or know anything about Carisha in these card games, they can get out of control. So, you know, they're just having fun, talking about crazy conversation, sex conversation. And Jackie, for so, I don't know why Jackie did this, but Jackie pulls out her phone and start recording. All the ladies get uncomfortable and then they decide like nobody has phones. Put your phone in the phone box. Let's just have for I agree. I hate it, y'all. I 
I hate when people pull out their phones, especially when you're like at family events or even if you hanging out with your girls and you get, I hate when bitches pull out their phones. It's so fucking tacky to me. I just hate it. So I, I was so happy they called Jackie ass out about that. So they was not trying to let Jackie record anything because they looked like they were really about to get it in. And then as they start playing the game, honey, by the end of the game, Brooke and Evelyn ass is over there tongue kissing. They showing they titties. So they just having a great time. So after the party slows down, Brandy is like, like I said, this episode is about everybody trying to get along. So Brandy finally get her opportunity. Now her and Jackie don't apologize to each other. At least I know at least once episode. So Brandy pulls Jackie to the side. Because y'all know Jackie, all this stuff with Sunday saying that why is Brandy back on the show? So she finally gets to confront Jackie. You know, Jackie going to say, girl, I said it. That was a private conversation. Y'all know Jackie going to always apologize. So she apologized to Brandy. And she's like, Brandy, we're going to always be cool because we're the only basketball wise. So I'm going to always have your back. She always tell her that. But it's true. They are the only basketball wives on the show. Um, So they're cool again. And then, like I said, the ladies are still turning up. And so Evelyn looking at Laura like, Laura, I got something to ask you. I just got to know. Like, why Gilbert was saying that he gave you a fake ring? Gilbert is Laura's ex-husband. Um, so I guess on a podcast, he was saying that he gave Laura a fake ring. So Evelyn was asking her about that. And she was like, girl, he's lying you know, he gave me like this $1 million ring and it was big, it was gaudy and I couldn't just wear it in my everyday life. So so I asked him, hey babe, can you get me a fake ring that looked just like this? That way I can wear it every day and anything happened to it, it is what it is. So Gibbard is a mess and I don't want to have nothing to do with him so he can have the fake ring and the real ring. But she was just explaining to everyone, no, that wasn't true. I have heard a lot of people who have really expensive rings that they get fake rings that they can wear every day because they don't want to lose their expensive ring. Now, I, you know what? I ain't going to say nothing because that's rich people problems. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely believe Laura. So, yeah, that was Basketball Wives. This episode was okay. Um, The biggest highlight for me um, was Dr. Cheyenne. Like, what's going to be her future with basketball wives I just don't think she fit in Um, I'm pretty sure she's looking back like why the hell did I agree to be on basketball wives because she probably had no idea that her relationship coach business would just you know be skyrocket after her podcast interview with Cam Um, So I'm pretty sure she probably won't come back. If she do, she'll be a fool. Because I don't want my therapist, life coach, to be on TV fighting with people. I want my therapist and my life coach to have some self-control, right? That's why I'm going to you. I'm a mess. So I need you to be level-headed. And yeah, I just don't think she's coming back. I think it's a bad look. Um, So that was the highlight for me for this episode because I didn't think that. I thought maybe, okay, she did that at the empowerment brunch, but that's not her real personality. But to see her on this episode, acting a fool with Brooke, again, I'm like, okay, now when you keep showing us who you are, I'm going to believe you. Pretty good episode. Um, I'm glad the ladies are getting at a better place. I do like when all the ladies film together. It just makes a better show. So, yeah, that was Basketball Wipes. I have a lot of other things on my channel. Guys, if you're still here, I do need you to go ahead and comment. I need you to subscribe. And, like, I really need you guys to put it in the comment. How do you guys feel about Dr. Shot and on Basketball Wives? Okay, and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.